What's up, family? Give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the family if you're new. If you're already part of the family, I appreciate you for rocking with me and also follow me over there on Instagram. But anyway, we coming back to you with another video. It looks like Sabrina Inescu is turning heads after saying this about Caitlin Clark. And we got a WNBA boycott update as we set get set for game two of the WNBA finals. A lot of players that is actually in the finals opened up about the Caitlin Clark effect and what this season actually meant to them. Now, one person is standing out through it all, and that is Sabrina Inescu. She has been pretty vocal about Caitlin Clark all season long. Um, she did make headlines in the beginning of the season when they actually lost to Caitlin Clark in the fever, and she let it be known that it was like the Indiana Fever Super Bowl, and I ain't going to let her up for that one. But that is exactly what she said. Now, ever since then, she's been kind of quiet about Caitlin Clark. That is until yesterday. Um, with all that being said, it's being reported that Sabrina Inescu and the New York Liberty find themselves in a 1-0 hole after a 95-93 game loss in overtime against the Minnesota Lynx in the WNBA Finals. Um, the game went down to the wire as the Lynx star, Nafisa Kaleer, hit the go-ahead shot with 8.1 seconds remaining. Brianna Stewart missed a potential free throw, and I'm telling you right now, her missing that free throw um, broke the darn internet, man. And the layup as time expired, I'm um, giving Minnesota the win. Uh, it was revealed the day later that this was the most watched game in the WNBA Finals ever. And a good one at that is Sabrina Inescu and a few other players made their situations known about how they feel about Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark changing the viewership, but primarily Caitlin Clark. With all that being said, family, I want you guys to check it out. Uh, I can't pick one. Uh, I mean, it's it's not an either or with. Um, they both had uh, astonishing seasons. I think they impressed me in different ways. They're such different players. Obviously, Caitlin's ability to come and transition um, quickly. So it's been great to see um, how great she's been in in this league. Angel um, being atop the the rebound leaders for the entire season, like Caitlin, the assist, um, and not only their impact on the court, but also the, the presence that they have off, the fans that they're continuing to bring in. Um, it's, a, it's been exciting to see, and I know that they're only going to continue to grow. Angela is so fierce at rebounding. Um, you can tell she plays with a lot of grit. Caitlin is just one-on-one. -on -one. She's uh, an amazing player. On you know, I thought Angel was really strong and obviously really aggressive. And then Caitlin, being a being point guard is not easy. That was their response in regards to Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. But, guys, moving on to another story. Now, we know Sue Bird called out Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp in her recent podcast. Now, and I'm here to tell you Stephen A. Smith is not one to bite his tongue. Similar to your boy over here, I will not bite my tongue. And he pulled up on C -Bird, Sue Bird, I say C Bird, in a recent episode of the Stephen A. Smith show. Check it out, man. Check it out. Let me run it back, so let's go. But I didn't appreciate this article that I read, okay, when it came to her talking about yours truly. Because you see, far be it. This is the headline, y'all. Sue Bird calls out ESPN hosts for, quote, hating on WNBA playoff ratings after Caitlin Clark's exit. You see, what? why? Why, why y'all? Really? This is where we have to go? Can we put her quotes up on the screen, please? Because I want everybody to know what she said. I what she said about your boy, Okay. This is the wonderful, the marvelous Sue Bird. I love her to death. Love her. Interviewed her a few times. I'm such a fan. But this is what she said. Viewership numbers with Caitlin Clark are astronomical. She is a big draw. She brings in all the things. And yes, the games where she's not playing have lower viewership. But in the WNBA playoffs, and we'll use the semifinals, where Caitlin obviously is not in it because her team lost, are still breaking records from previous WNBA years and are still cracking a million viewers. She continues because she brings up my name. So these numbers are still really high and they're still really meaningful. And yet some people continue to flip that. I've seen Stephen A. Smith talk about it. I've seen Shannon Sharp talk about it. And what I don't understand is they work for ESPN. So why are you hating on a business ESPN is in? I want to say the semifinals games are up like 130%, and that's without Caitlin. End quote. I'm going to dial it back and be as respectful as I can possibly be. Once again, Sue Bird is a champion, Hall of Fame caliber, 
and a beautiful person. I am a huge fan of her as a person and a player. One of the great pleasures I've had was interviewing her in the past. I'm only addressing her points about me and what she said in relation to the whole Caitlin Clark story. Respectfully, Sue Bird, you are inaccurate. It is just that simple. First things first. We cover sports, right? Don't we cover sports? Looking at one of my friends, Sherry, do we cover sports? Do we cover sports? And do we cover sports? Griff, do we cover sports? I think we cover sports. So if somebody got arrested, I can't bring that up. When Brittany Griner was taken prisoner in Russia unfairly, we didn't touch that. When Ray Rice got in trouble, we didn't touch that. When Ray Caruth did what he did, that was a crime. He convicted of killing the mother of his child, of his unborn child. Did we cover that? When Ray is through the roof, are we going to cover it? When DeMar Hamlin nearly died on the field, did we cover it? Go outside the world of sports. The pop and entertainment coach, uh, uh, the world, they ain't talking about P. Diddy. The Hollywood Reporter ain't talking about him. TMZ ain't talking about him. Entertainment Tonight ain't talking about him. CNN ain't talking about him. CNBC ain't talking about him. We ain't talking about him. The story is the story, Sue Bird. What was Stephen A. Smith and Shannon guilty of exactly? You know, you know, everybody, everybody John, John Stewart, Stewart, who I love, by the way, calling Monica McNutt on the show. You know, you know she, she rolling out there, there like she just. Well, family, that was Stephen A. Smith pretty much letting it be known, man. This is the media. A story is a story. And that's what I've been trying to tell a lot of people in the media and peers in the media space. Because uh, you got to think about it. A lot of big time reporters don't like YouTube channels like mine or anyone else's because we control the narrative of a story, and they can't be as edgy as we can. And they can't do what we do. But Stephen A. Stephen a. Smith can. Um, and other big-time reporters can, like Jason Wicklock, you know what I'm saying, or Tucker Carlson. Now, people just get mad because of the story. It's driving up views and driving up clicks. But it is what it is, man. The story is always going to be the story regardless. Uh, get down in the comment section. Let me know you guys' thoughts, perspective, and insights. Get this video a big thumbs up. And also, come rock with your boy and join the family. If you haven't, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. And on that note, family, let the love supersede the hate. Spread that peace, love, and positivity. Until next time, family, like I always say, your boy out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> peace, family.